right, so we're watching a video by uh, the Fisher um, about plenum removal. We're, we're basically just following this video. So if you're going to do this, I'd, I'd recommend looking at that because it's, it's way more to the point and it's probably going to help you. <laughs> this video is not to Show help you. Show you all what not to do. Did successfully remove the coils, spark plugs, compression test it, and remove the balance tube yesterday and got it all back together to the point at least it was running as badly as it was before. Yep. We're practically experts. Congratulations. Anyway. Yeah, so we're going to continue basically just doodle, doodle bopping on this bad boy. And, uh, yeah, honestly, we might as well set up a time lapse because we're not going to be so helpful with this. We're about to take a break. Um, we've been working on this thing for like an hour. Uh, so far, I think me and Sam Squanch are kind of in the same place. The VG is not necessarily a fun motor to work on, but if you like the 300, don't don't let the scary motor scare you away. It's a little spooky, but like if you can. If you can work on a car, you can figure this out. It's not that bad. There's lots of wires. There's lots of vacuum stuff, lots of emission stuff, lots of little clips holding on, wires holding on, frames holding on stuff. It's yeah. just a complicated. They got like seven bolts, maybe eight, <laughs> holding on the fuel rail to the top of this. Man, it wasn't going to fall off. <laughs> You yeah. could have used screws. I don't know. Yeah. It's definitely overdone in some ways, I think, but. Yeah, so, we're back out here working on the motor. Um, we got the fuel rail portion that was sitting on top of the intake off. We ended up cutting the fuel lines going from the top to the, the fuel rail itself. Um, because they were super hard to get at and wiggle from the top and they should be pretty easy to replace once we have access to the fuel rail itself. Yeah, so Jonas is struggling with all kinds of hoses and whatnot, but the thing is loose. We've got the bolts out. We're close to being able to break some new things, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Okay, so we finally have the intake manifold plenum guy off of the motor engine. Fucking this thing. <laughs> it's uh, that was a lot of work. Gonna, not not gonna lie, that was was kind of was tough. Mm. We have access to the things we wanted to access to, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a. That's an A+. Plus. So here's kind of the moment of truth. Although, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised if these work with the alligator clips because, you know, the anything this dirty, both the male and the female clips are going to be really nasty. I think it could have been as simple as goddamn corroded connections. We'll see if this thing makes any noise. I'm almost positive if it's capable of working, it's gonna work with these alligator clips on here. Yep. So that injector is functional, which makes me kind of wonder if the smartest thing isn't just, if we can get these things to work, just to freaking put them back, to, back in rather than swapping them out. That one's dead, nothing. Oh shit. That injector is doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna wiggle these wires and see if maybe a little... Maybe you could get a connection? Maybe the connection is just really that bad. Nah, that thing's dead. 
So all of them sounded pretty much exactly the same, including this one, which wasn't working. So we might be suspicious of wiring on that, honestly. Yeah, that one, like, might, that one might have a wiring issue. Just because we have the same problem in two cylinders, that is that the injectors aren't working, doesn't mean it's the same cause. One of them, clearly the injector is dead. The other one, maybe it's wiring. As a matter of fact, the wiring had been redone on this back one. This is the back one yeah. and it had been redone. So I think there's a decent chance that number four, this guy, just had bad wiring to it. Ha! Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had to take, so here's the even cooler We would have had to do this anyway. We would have had to do it. Yay, okay. Well, like, and uh, and so like, the the PCV hoses need to be replaced. Yep. And so that's, that's like the big reason why we're not gonna finish tonight is because inside of the PCV hoses, there are these little metal guys and so me and Sam Squanch suspect that these allow the, basically the fumes to pass through the hose. This without... was on the far side of it, and this was on the near side. Yeah, so there's a bunch of oil and gunk in there. So hopefully, so that I, we're guessing that the fumes pass through and the oil right. and gunk doesn't. That would make sense. Little plug, little really, really simple thing, no valve, no nothing. It's just a little metal thing with it's, a hole in it. It's pretty badass. It's neat, yeah, simple. Yeah, um, so we definitely need to order that hose. We can't just put a new one, like a blank hose in there and call it a day. That's probably a, a red choose. Actually, we were about to do it until Jonas did We should research. do it the right way, man. I want to I wanna be able to drive this thing for a long time, even if it's like a little gunky, a little leaky, a little bit of a 90s shit box. It won't be as bad. Unfortunately, we're not going to finish tonight, but we'll get her done soon. We'll get it done this week. Hey. Eh? This week? Sure. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and cut the coolant lines that are riddled under this intake plenum manifold guy. Um, yeah, they're, they're all going to go away. So this guy, this guy, I'm going to cut these nipples off here and here and these two guys are gonna come off and all these lines right here are gonna disappear I'm gonna also cut back here um, if we were cool we would have gotten that gasket and we would take this off so that we can cut this better back here but we're not cool and that's okay cuz it's gonna work just as well yeah, if we, I mean, nothing else, we could just use a hacksaw to get it off, but we'll, we'll get it out of there. EGR is staying. A lot of people pull that stuff out. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep that for... We think it might run better. We would like it to maybe pass emissions. <laughs> yeah, that'd like be to, great. We'd like it to be a possibility. Um, EGR might also fucking do nothing. It might. At this point. We just didn't research it, so we're keeping it. Yep. Like, safer to keep it, probably. It'll have all new lines on it. out of work. Um, yeah, good. Dude. <laughs> Grill us in the comments about keeping the EGR. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell us how pointless it is. <laughs> well, or not. Let us know if we fucked up or not. There's a P PCV hose that that we were having a really tough time getting at on the driver's side uh, and the back of the head. It's, it's this guy. Hopefully you can see it. Um... Sam Squanch got the drum, the Dremel out on on the extendo bit, um, and that's gonna cut these two hose clamps. There's one here and one back here. I have no clue how you would get these off without destroying them. Uh, Z1 also gives you hose clamps for their new hose, which they don't do for any of their other hoses. So we kind of think this is how you do it. We gave up and then we were like, wait a minute. Yeah. They must have given us these for a reason because they know we're going to break them. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to break them, try to get this hose off. And that way we can also cap off this coolant line, which we currently have plugged with a screw this guy or a bolt it's a bolt i should say it qualifies as a bolt that is a bolt anyway 
Uh, Sam Squinch is going to do that. Only good things are going to happen now. Yep. He's going to be fine. <laughs> totally fine. Yeah, we don't even have the proper cutting guy. We've got some freaking stone that we're going to try to use to route all the cutting wheels. We got one of them off. And it, it, it didn't take too long. Yeah. Worked pretty well. Pretty funny. Does this hose look good to you? It's fine. Don't worry about it, bro. Yeah, we it's almost got another five years. We almost didn't replace this thing because it looked like a bitch. It's a good choice. It don't, yeah, it ended up only taking about 20 minutes. Which, should 20 minutes for one hose is kind of a pain in the ass. Should have taken two But, A, uh, hopefully this hose won't have to be replaced for a good long bit. And there. So there's, um, yeah, this, whoop, sorry, this coolant hose goes around and back under here and there's a little clamp back back here that's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get but we'll have access to it now that the hose is out of out of this space and so we can properly cap off the coolant line that comes right here oh man i'm so sorry that filming was garbage uh hope you followed it good luck after that was like far too long to admit to. <laughs> yes. Um, we, the hose is off. The, that was a pain in the ass. That was something. Ah, uh, yeah. That was notable. But this is very good. So at this point, we're going to be able to properly cap off this coolant line back here. Which, uh, originally we were just going to shove a bolt inside of and call it good, which isn't great. And we're also going to be able to change this PCV hose to a uh, new red extra fast silicone <laughs> hose. This, this is good stuff all around, man. Um, this motor is really hard to work on. Um, get yourself some patience if you get one of these. He's not kidding. It's, it's tight. It's very complicated. It's a cool motor, but like, ow. Yeah, if I wasn't such a nerd, I think I'd be really upset right now. Right. Yeah. Super awesome car, though. It's awesome. a cool car, and we're still excited about it, and... Very, very stoked to have um, these hoses and injectors out of the way. Uh, haven't said it yet, but the injectors have showed up. It's been about a week. We bought um, a new injector kit. We'll explain it in a few, I'm sure. All right, so I finally have the injector parts to show you guys. Um, this right here is the 300ZX injector adapter kit. I got this kit from Z1 and what this is gonna do is it's gonna take these old style uh, old school early model uh, VG injectors and it's gonna swap them to a new style plug. So you can clearly see the difference between the two plugs. I am holding one upside down but Y y you dig. To do this, you need some some new clips, and these little guys drop right into the injector buckets to kind of fit the uh, the injector itself. We'll show you guys what's up. Um, hopefully, it'll be smooth. The parts look really nice. That's a plus. Uh, Happy Monday. We, uh, we we talked about all the work to do all this stuff and, and decided to get all new injectors since two of them were already problematic. And we read so many people talking about replacing one and then another one and then two more and making three trips. And then we're like, no. Yeah. There were, there were lots of horror stories about injectors from the early model injectors failing. 
Um, it's, not only that, the clips for the early model injectors, terrible. They suck. <laughs> they're like they're they're horrible. Mean. So having these nice plastic like pinch clipping style, like that's worth the money on its own, if you ask me. So good purchase. Hopefully it fixes the misfire as well. Yeah, we'll see. So last night we were doing a bunch of work. Actually, screw it. Last weekend <laughs> we spent the whole fucking weekend working on these hoses back here. This bad boy, this PCV hose was really difficult. We showed you guys cutting that off. Um, but after that we decided to loop um, this this bad boy, this um, coolant line which originally goes under the intake manifold and we don't we don't need that so we looped it around kind of back into this sort of Christmas tree of coolant <laughs> lines that rests on the back of this motor um, it it took a long time it was extremely difficult we're still holding out. I don't know how you did like, rage out. You were working so hard on that. Like I would have been so pissed. It's, it wasn't. I, I really want to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these engines are hard. Yeah, this is a. This is a. This is a. This, yeah. They're they're not easy. This is not the most fun thing to work on. Nope. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break very much. <laughs> and that's the reason we're buying more new parts than we usually would. I think smart. we're on a trend towards yes. Yes. buying new parts. We are done. Mostly. We are. Yeah, those, those little Johnny's going there. Theoretically, we know what we're doing. Hopefully. We've spent so much time struggling recently. I feel like this must be wrong because it's working. <laughs> um, I was gonna say we'll put it back together and it'll be fucked. <laughs> Something will be wrong. I'm like I'm That's... pretty I'm pretty prepared for it to like start up and like misfire just as bad as no one. sh no like, ah. That's a good way to keep two your weeks and a bunch of money. We did clean out inside of those things, by the way. Oh yes, very well. Well, it was reasonable. Alrighty, so the kit comes with these neat little super lube guys. And I've got one of them here. And what I'm going to be doing is lubing up the O-rings on the new injector so that we can press it all the way down onto the fuel rail. Um, sounds like, it looks like that's a lot of pressing to do on the injector. Um, that's why they supplied the lube, I'm guessing. Um, and I'm just, I'm just trusting them that this is how this is supposed to happen. So we're going to lube up and we're going to, we're going to go on in, man. We're going to just send it. I'm pretty excited with how easily this kit is kind of going together. Uh, with the injectors lubed up, <laughs> they slid right in. Um, we've got some of these guys that kind of like... They just went right in. Uh, these two dudes back here, still outside of the rail a little bit, but you can use the screws to kind of push push the injector into the rail. I like this kit a lot. Thank you, Z1. Big ups. Uh, if you guys want to buy this kit and upgrade your early Model Z to the new style injectors, I will put a link to this kit in the description. Thank you once again, Z1. Uh, good kit. Good stuff. We paid for it, it's not sponsored, but it's good stuff. Okay, so the new injectors are in with the uh, Z1 adapter kit, and it looks real nice. Uh, went on super easy. G got nothing to gripe about, man. Looks solid, seems solid. Hopefully it'll work well. Still gotta get these clips or these uh, plugs uh, soldered in so that we can actually plug the injectors in, but um, we'll get to that. 
me and dad were out here working for like a couple minutes we put on the intake just to do a little bit of a test fit because i read with this kit you need to trim something around the first injector so we gave it a look-see and it's pretty clear that you need to trim or machine between here um, so that you can actually plug into uh, injector one yeah Must so we're gonna taller, take this guess, guy yeah. off and uh, yeah we're gonna machine that so that we can we can actually plug machine. that in yeah machine Um, so we haven't filmed a whole lot, uh, in the last couple of days, but we did do a little bit over, over the course of them. Um, I think we told you got, did we say, were we talking about, did we talk about grinding this out at all? Don't know. Let's talk about it again. Okay. All right. So we got, we got the, um, which is necessary because we did new injectors. Um, you can't unless you can machine out this bit of, uh, I think we talked about earlier a little bit. Um, yeah, it's done now. It looks pretty decent. Hopefully, once there's a little bit of gunk on it and the rest of the engine's dressed, actually, the cover's gonna go over it. Never mind. It's gonna be great. Perfect. But even still, it looks <laughs> it looks not embarrassing the way it is. And this there's a lot of big chunks of metal holding on the throttle assembly. Yeah. And this seems like, especially with the gusset here, more than enough to hold this thing securely. I think there's something on the bottom even too, so we're not worried about it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be plenty. And the plug is very accessible now, so yep. that's uh, pretty pimp. Yeah, the little, these doodads, that's gonna be the next thing I think, isn't it? We're gonna put the intake on for hopefully the last time. Can you just hold that for a little while longer while I get the shot? Sure thing, man. Take Caskets on. It only goes one way, so it's idiot proof. Yeah. Even we can do it. So putting this on, you've got the EGR valves here, and they're kind of the, the little tough bit. Getting that aligned is the only real hard part. Okay. So I think we've talked about this a couple of times now, but... <laughs> The intake's on. We've been working, struggling, as we've been doing with this thing. Um, we are plugged in most of the way. I think all that's left is injectors and coil packs. Not totally sure. Might be a plug or two around fuel elsewhere. Fuel. fuel. Yeah, we need to plug in the fuel lines and stuff, but we're getting closer, chugging away. Right now, Sam Squinch is putting in the new uh, pigtails for the new injectors. We're going to strip these guys after they're all plugged in, and we're going to cut the old wires and slowly but surely start soldering, soldering on the pigtails. Shouldn't be too difficult, but... Very exciting. Yeah. It's, it's close. All right, so... We just got done soldering up all of the injectors, or the injector plugs, I should say. And they look all right. They look pretty good. <clears throat> These shrink wrap bits are, they're marine shrink wrap pieces. So they have like a hot glue in there that basically seals your, your solder joint inside. It keeps them really strong and it's, uh, so like, it's the, the best of the best. If you're gonna cover your wires with something, it should probably be that. So, thanks Z1, more, more. We like you guys. A lot of stuff has happened. Not really. Um, well, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess, but not, also not really. Uh, we are getting close to probably trying to start the car. Um, that'll be interesting. I'm putting the balance tube on. Um, 
we're gonna connect the rest of the vacuum lines and we got a couple of PCV lines to hoses to connect and gotta connect the intake should be ready to go I think we got these guys left but like coil packs are in to snug this guy down the fuel lines took some effort that mm -hmm. was fun uh, got the cables on the right way we think yeah. <laughs> hey but we're on our way we're getting we're getting close enough to be nervous about whether or not it's gonna work that's kind of cool <laughs> that's kind of cool all right so the Z is all back together now everything's it's back together it's, I could turn the key and try to start it but uh, we are gonna change the oil because we haven't done that yet so I'm gonna lift this thing up get a drain pan and um, yeah oil change stuff I'm really excited about this um, it's a little early so that's not coming through but I'm super stoked and I'm really hoping that it's gonna run on all six cylinders so that I can actually drive this thing because this car's freaking cool it just doesn't doesn't run right so it's not very fun when it runs right it's gonna be a blast look forward to that shit how's it going down there camper it's going all right um this car's got some dark oil no no way yeah it's uh, <laughs> uh yeah about what you'd expect a little soupy mm -hmm. well it's no it's not soupy it's fine, <laughs> it totally smells like gas it does Holy smell shit. like gas yeah <laughs> well good thing we're changing it eh? hey hey yeah since we were dumbasses and we took the injector off the fuel rail it kind of just found its way into the cylinders we're gonna go ahead and pull out the spork plugs and just make sure we don't lock the thing. We don't, probably only a couple tablespoons of gas went in, but like, why not do it? I'm gonna get those things out now. The fuck's going on under there? So I was under the car doing the oil change and I was, I was looking around and I looked at the tension rod and this is the tension rod that was on the car. Like, if you uh if you know these cars, this like this is bad. Bro, there's one hole. This isn't this isn't a tension rod. This is like a this is like a tow arm or some shit. Um Yeah. There's supposed to be two holes with two studs coming through them to attach it into the lower control arm. Um and, and this is not it, bro. <laughs> So I'm gonna take the time to put on, I have a set of stock tension rods from the Skyline. Wait, why do those have two bolts? Cause that's, that's good. This is healthy. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh my God, they're not even yeah, it's like stupid. remotely the same size. Stupid. Oh, dude. they're close. Okay, I get it. Yeah, one fit. Yeah, okay. Silly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna switch those guys out before we, uh, we, we even try to turn the car on because nobody driving. wants to die on the test drive. Yeah, you've I've been, been driving, driving this thing for like a couple weeks. <laughs> I've been like, man, I think I need to replace the lower control arm. Ball joint's probably going out. Yeah, no, no. Some, f f yeah, Mechanic. this stupid shit. Damn, bro. I could've died. <laughs> <laughs> You good boy. You good boy. A couple of these guys. Give me your nuts. To take them. I could, there's a certain charm to watching you struggle, though, I must admit. So this side actually came apart easily, eh? Well, I didn't have to take this side all the way apart. Because I wasn't as stupid. <laughs> um. Yeah. So are we gonna drive it tonight, you think? Yeah, it might even be kind of light out. Maybe. Oil is changed on the Z. 
Everything looks nice and fast. Yep. Hopefully this bad boy will uh, work correctly. That'd be nice. Yeah, me too. Alright, we don't have much fuel. You put the, the fuel that is in there. I mean, there's gonna be no fuel in there, so. We also have bubbles and fuel, so we can't just like go up the tent. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're Check for massive leaks under the car, which we didn't do. Oh, good. Oh my God, there's a whole pan full of oil. Uh, okay, I don't, uh, I don't smell gas either. Which I gotta say is just a tiny bit surprising to me. Oh shit, look at this though. Is that good? Coming out of the valve cover. Is that? That's a lot of oil all of a sudden. Or is that smoke from wiring? It doesn't smell like wiring, man. Oh, maybe. I wonder if we got something laying on the manifold. Okay, yeah. let's deal with that. Yeah. I think we found good news. We never saw this coming, but I think that um, there's just a bunch of oil caked on the back. Two cylinders. The exhaust manifold. 
can't really get the angle on it, but it's all coming off. You can just see right in the middle there. It's the coming off. Manifold. Yeah, it's like right around where the O2 sensor is. Yes. It's just caked with oil, and those forms, should have done those valve covers. Hey. Yeah. We did plenty, and it we took too long. It did, but we still should have done the valve covers. Wow. We had the time for it. God damn it. Fuck. Sorry. For once, I was the one who was like, "Nah." Yeah. Fuck. Nah, it'll it'll burn off, and I'll bet you it won't be a problem. Mm -hmm. It's okay. If it does become a problem, I have to put an SR in it. All right, there you oh, go. Cool. I'm not starting that fight. <laughs> I wouldn't get an SR. It would, it would make sense. SR or LS? It would make sense to do the... SR or LS. Mm. Yeah, you can guess which one the old guys voted for. Um. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. You got your fancy cool thing? Hmm? Are we bleeding the coolant? Oh yeah, I think we should. Why don't you turn it on one more time, just for giggles. I'm scared it's not going to turn on. That is Stop. scary, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, me and Sam Squanch just got back from a from a pretty good cruise, actually. Yeah, we drove for a while. We drove for a little bit. Definitely got the car up to temperature. Um, boy, we should be glad we didn't put any more oil in there. <laughs> it's full. <laughs> it is full. A plus. Man, I, I'm so excited. It runs and it like it it works like a car. And that's that's pretty badass. It is right at the top of the top. <laughs> it's perfect. Sweet. That's I'm good. Yeah. Still smoking a bit out of the exhaust manifold in the back. Yeah. The exhaust manifolds have collected some oil over time. And our theory is they've collected quite a bit towards uh, six or four and six. Mm -hmm. And now that it's running in four and six it's burning all the oil that's collected yeah no i mean the um, rest of it somebody i think it's this only room. it's only coming off this side mm -hmm. not not the passenger side and only side. In the back actually but yeah. i think some i think somebody probably cleaned it off at some point and you know these the cylinder they aren't getting hot I, it may have been years since four and six have run but we don't know but um, so exciting dude that was a that was a lot of work What's up, guys? Um, felt like the end of this video kind of just dropped off. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, the battery might have died. Don't quite remember what happened. But anyway, the Z runs, and it runs well. Um, it, it has cleared up a lot. Like, the idle sits at 1,000 or 900 RPM uh, once it warms up. Uh, it, it, it runs like a top honestly it's it's real smooth and i couldn't be happier with it um i mean it could be it could sound not like a v6 but there's kind of nothing you can do about that it's the nature of the beast <laughs> the car drives great especially with the new tension rods it doesn't feel like it's gonna die um it feels like a nice stock car and it it drives straight it runs well and like for a $750 Z, like, I'm so pumped on that car. So, I hope you guys enjoyed all this video, because this video is like 40 minutes long or something. It's kind of ridiculous. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. Uh, leave a comment, let me know. 
if you guys enjoyed it because if you guys hated it I probably won't make a 40 minute long video again but if you guys liked it uh, you know we, we end up with a lot of footage a lot of the time so thank you guys for watching Mary Chrysler hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one Engine bay is looking spicy. We're looking extra speedy up in here. We got the red hoses all around. Silicone for slickness. We got the fucking copper balance tube for extra sick points. Along with the fucking... The, yeah, shit. It's fucking together.